Yoo-hoo, Cece. Open the front door already, will you? I'm melting out here. You better have the AC on, and maybe some ice cream too. Huh? Wait, did you come all the way here without telling me again? And good morning to you too. You don't sound too happy to see me though, lol. I announced myself on the intercom, so what's the big surprise? Don't install one of those fancy things if you're not going to use it. You're obviously inside, so let us in already. Otherwise, we'll have to hop the fence or something, haha. <laughs> alright, alright, stay away from the fence. And wait, what do you mean, us? I brought the kids over to play, silly. I gotta get out of the house every once in a while or they'll drive me crazy. The little ones are complaining about it being hot, and the last thing I want is to give them heat stroke, so open sesame and let us cool off already, lol. You've got to be kidding me. What happened to you saying you weren't coming over this month? Yeah, but the kids just kept begging and begging, I kind of had my hands tied with this one, lol. Besides, you built that pool in the backyard last year, and it's scorching today. No, there's no harm in letting them swim for a while. Don't worry, though. I made sure to bring towels, and they've got their swimsuits, so we're all ready. Hang on. Just because you're ready for the pool doesn't mean we are I'm sorry, but today's really not a good day for this. I know you're already here, but can you find somewhere else to take the kids, please? I really can't handle having guests over today, it's nothing personal. Oh, come on. We came all this way just to see you, and this is how you treat us. We're a family, we're supposed to stick together. I didn't ask for you to come, you just showed up. The truth is, Brendan's really not feeling well. Here's the no shape to play with his cousins, and even if he was, he's staying at the hospital until his condition improves. So, can you please take the kids and go so we can reschedule for when Brendan's feeling better? Oh darn, that's no good. You should have said something sooner. Well, that's okay, I'm sure the kids can still entertain themselves in the backyard, don't mind us lol. I beg your pardon. By the way, we had to leave pretty early to get here, so I didn't have time to make the kids breakfast, so I'll just grab some stuff from the fridge, okay? All right, Ash, I know you think you can come and do whatever you like, but when I ask you to leave and come back, it's not a suggestion. I've got a kid to worry about and I'm really not in the mood to entertain guests right now, family or otherwise. Go take your kids to a water park or something. I'm sure they'll have a great time. LOL, you're too funny. You realize what you're saying is hilarious, right? My brother owns this house, so it's, like, where do you even get off calling it your house, you know? No, what do you mean? That's exactly what it is. It's my house. I've been thinking about it for a while but things have really been on the up and up for you ever since you moved into this new place, right? All of a sudden you think you can tell me what to do, that you can look down on me like this is your castle and you're the queen or something. You think we're trash because we have to rent out an apartment, don't you? Whoa, I never said anything like that. All I'm asking for is for you to consider my feelings for once before you barge into my home. How am I supposed to have any time to myself when you come up every weekend, and without any warning? And what's so bad about that? LOL. My brother said I could come over any time, and that's what I plan on doing. Ugh, I'm sick of listening to the kids whine, I'm just gonna let myself in, okay? It's too hot out to be standing here texting you like a chump. And how exactly are you going to do that? I figured I might get locked out or show up when you weren't home at some point, so Sawyer was kind enough to give me a spare key lol. He gave you a key? Oh, don't mind us, we'll just be here for the weekend. You won't even notice we're here. One hour later. 
Sawyer, we need to talk, now. Did you seriously give Ash's spare key to the house? I don't remember agreeing to that, at all. Can't you just shut up for once, even on the weekend? You know I don't like to be bothered unless it's important. Yeah, well it is important, that's why I'm bothering you. Your sister is here with her kids, again, after telling me she wasn't coming over, again, and just stood outside even after I begged her to leave, again. Even you of all people have to admit this is unacceptable. Are you kidding me? From what I'm hearing, you're the unacceptable one. She told me you kept her and the kids outside in the heat for almost half an hour, and she thought they were gonna get heat stroke. How can you not tell she's clearly exaggerating? I don't know what you were thinking, not letting our family into the house, but you need to get off your high horse, seriously. Her kids are the same age as ours, and they're thick as thieves, so why don't you learn a thing or two from them? I'd love to treat Ash like a sister, but we need some basic boundaries, for my sake. I know she's your sister, but she's seriously a handful sometimes. You think you can talk about her like that? I'm just saying, when you told me she'd come to visit, I didn't expect her to be here literally every weekend, for entire days at a time, you know? I can handle making food for Brendan, but taking care of her kids is just too much for me. And that's just meals, you can forget about snacks. Besides, her kids aren't exactly the nicest to Brendan either. They're always taking away his toys and his games from him. Do you know how many times I've had to cheer him up after they made him cry? So what, kids can be cruel. It builds character, and he'll grow up into a strong man because of it, not that you'd know anything about that. Oh, knock it off, that's nonsense and you know it. Your sister is doing the bare minimum as a mom, by the way. She just throws them my way and then spends the whole time playing games on her phone. It's not cute or funny, and it's seriously pissing me off. Of course you'd blow a gasket over something so trivial. Have a little heart, Cece. You're seriously still defending her, after everything I've said? Ash is a single mother, she's gotta support those kids on her paycheck and she can't afford to give them everything they want. Her life is hard enough as it is, and she should at least be allowed to catch a break in our home. She's family and there will always be a seed for her at our table. Even if it means our grocery budget spirals out of control? Not to mention all the money I've had to spend to replace toys and things that her kids have broken over the years? They're toys, of course they're gonna break. Don't get your panties in a twist. Do you even hear yourself? Besides, if we're going over budget, it's only because you suck at saving money. Don't try to pin your failings as a housewife on my poor little sister. Of course, no matter how I try to explain it to you, it's always going to be my fault with her, isn't it? All right, how's this for budgeting? Why don't I ask Ash to reimburse me for all the extra food I have to buy because of her? If I ask nicely, I'm sure she'll pay me back for all the snacks and juice boxes that weren't theirs, and maybe I can pull out some of those toys her kids broke. Get real, as if she'd ever do something so beneath her. I don't know if this is your sick idea of a joke, but I'm appalled. I can't believe I married such a disgrace, maybe it's time we fixed that. Wait, you wouldn't actually leave me over this, would you? I can't allow anyone to attack my pride as a brother, let alone a man, not even my wife. We're supposed to give those kids what they want. That's what aunts and uncles are for. You talk about pride, and yet you let your sister walk all over you. I'm your wife, aren't I? You're supposed to have my back at least once in a while, or so I was told. Till death do us part, does that ring a bell? I was a brother long before I became a husband, don't you dare forget it. Ash is all alone out there in the world, that's exactly when family is supposed to help each other. Oh yeah, some big hope you are, leaving your wife to deal with your ridiculous family. If you really want to look after Ash, why don't you take the kids and her out sometime, instead of sending them here to infest our house? You mean giving them somewhere to relax on the weekends? Isn't that why I bought this house in the first place lol?
Plus, there's plenty of things to do, we've got a great backyard, a huge living room, I'm sure they're having a great time. And just to exactly watch it that bought this house you're so proud of, hmm? I seem to remember you being between jobs and suddenly not being able to take out a loan, so who paid for us to be able to live here? Oh yeah, it was me. Oh, shut up already. Yeah, you did something yourself for once in your life, congrats. Don't let it get to your head, woman. Excuse me? Forget this, I've got a job to do. How about you do your job as my wife, and take care of Ash and the kids? Two weeks later. What the hell were you thinking, kicking me and Brendan out of the house like that? Explain yourself, Sawyer. Oh yeah, I got a text from my sister saying that our mom was coming over a little bit ago. Good lord, first is Ash, now your mother is showing up too? Come on, you know mom's birthday is at the end of the month. We're just celebrating at my place, no big deal. It's our place, and of course it's a big deal. This is a matter of safety and privacy. You and Ash both know I told you to never let your mom come over again after last time, right? Yeah, but that was ages ago. Isn't it time to grow up and forgive her, like an adult? You need to stop getting worked up over the littlest things, seriously. It's childlike, Cece. The littlest things? Like when she barged into the place unannounced after we'd just moved in and rearranged the kitchen like she owned the place? Or, maybe you're talking about later that evening when I found her literally rummaging through my underwear drawer? Is that the kind of little thing I'm supposed to move on from and forgive her for? I know, I know, but she didn't mean anything bad by it. That's just the way she acts sometimes, it's the sort of thing her generation does. Can you at least try at least a hint of sympathy? For my sake. Not in a million years. If I'm willing to let that woman inside my house again, I might as well just let the termites, the rats, and the ants have had it too. Good lord, it's like talking to a brick wall with you sometimes. I definitely made the right call getting you out of the house. If I'm lucky, maybe you just won't come back at all lol. You don't. Want me to come back? Yeah, maybe we can finally spend some quality time as a family without the stubborn mule I call a wife around lol. What was it you told Ash the other week? Oh yeah, now I remember, why don't you take Brendan to a water park or something and get lost? Oh, just drop dead already, I can't believe you're still taking her aside. If you're unlucky, I won't come back, huh? I signed the mortgage, I keep the house spotless, I make him buy every scrap of food in the house, and it's still not enough for you, is it? You can pull out as many pieces of paper as you want, it'll still be my house. This is a man's world, baby, and at the end of the day, you've only made it this far out of the goodness of my heart. As if you've ever had any goodness in your heart, you monster. A man's world, you must not remember how the rest of the song went, if that's what you think. Like I'm gonna let some hysterical broad be the judge of my character. I'm a model citizen, and I oughta to be handed a key to the city. When a dog won't stop yapping, you make it sleep in the doghouse. You see what I'm saying, pooch. Now scram, and let me enjoy some quality family time. Unbelievable. You put your family on such a high pedestal, but what about Brandon and I? Aren't we your family, too? To kick us out of the house just because we're not as important, to do that to me, let alone your own son. They're the lowest of the low, Sawyer. You're right, I'm horrible. Meanwhile, you must be some kind of saint, turning my sister away at the front gate and trying to exile my mom like she was Napoleon. We think it's high time you got a taste of your own medicine. It's for your own good, really. I'm sorry, we... Well, my mom and sister are always saying they love to relax without a nagging wife chasing them around, so thanks for helping me make their dreams come true. Glad that's all taken care of, now it's time to party. I'll catch you on the flip side lol. Well, I hope you're satisfied with yourself, because you won't be seeing Brendan or I ever again. Wait, what?
I've had enough. If that's the family you want to be with, please go ahead and enjoy yourselves. I think I'll follow in your footsteps and spend my time with people I'd rather be around. You know, the kind of people who won't put me and my son out on the street. You clearly don't want me around, so let's just get divorced, right? I'd rather sign some papers than go back to that nightmare of a house. Divorce? Cece, that's not funny, quit making jokes like that. Oh, let me assure you, I'm dead serious. We can get divorced, and I'll raise Brendan myself, since you clearly have no interest in being part of his life. I'm sure we'll get along just fine without you and your fancy house. Seriously? You said it's a man's world, but clearly I won't have any trouble getting alone on a new place, since I already did it for the old place. Whoa, whoa, whoa cool your jets, okay? Just take a deep breath and think about what you're saying for a second. For the kid's sake, I'm begging you. Trust me, I already am. Besides, Ash got divorced, and you think she's a great mother, don't you? Yeah, but, you know, that's different. Yeah, you're right, we're very different. I could never compare to her, so I'll get out of your way. Why don't you just enjoy your big family party together? You guys won't have to worry about your nagging wife getting on your case anymore, after all. And don't worry, you won't see me or hear from me again until I'm ready for you to sign those divorce papers. One weeks later. Hey Cece. Long time, no see, right? It's been a week already, you can come back home anytime now. You weren't serious about leaving. Were you? I tried to tell you, but let me spell it out for you, I'm gone. My parents have been very kind to Brendan and I, and they're letting us stay here until I get my own place again. Like I told you that night, we'll be just fine without you. Quit yanking my chain. You've made your point about being a strong independent woman, now come home already. Look, know you got worked up about my mom's birthday party, but it was just for one night, I swear. Besides, who's gonna take care of this place if you're not here? I'm a busy guy. If you're so proud of that damn house, you should get busy cleaning it yourself. Me? That's the wife's job though. You really think you can get away with saying things like that, even when I'm telling you I want a divorce? How stupid can you get? I'm not saying anything strange. It's a wife's job to clean up and take care of her man's things, that's just the way the world works. Speaking of taking care of things, I'm on my way with the divorce papers right now. Be a dear and sign them so I can get on with my life, okay, babe? You weren't kidding about all that. You're actually going through with all this paperwork. Mechem, and I've got the stuff for you to pay Brandon's child support, too. Don't worry. My lawyer and I put a lot of thought into how much money we believe you owe me. I'm sure Brandon will feel like you're a part of his life with you paying for him to go to a nice school, if nothing else. Listen to yourself, this is crazy talk. Look, I'll do whatever it takes, just don't do this. I can't stand the thought of you leaving me. That's a nice change of tune from you, but you're way too late. Just remember, you pushed us out of your life, literally, say you have no one to blame but yourself. That's not true, I was just. Oh, but don't take my word for it, your own son told me he'd be fine without you in his life, if you can imagine that. Brendan said that. He doesn't even care about his own father. I couldn't believe it myself, for a kid in the third grade to speak with such insight. You really are a failure of a father, and even he knows it. I think we can all agree it'd be better if you stayed away from us, and we did the same for you. I'm almost at that house you love so much, so you better have a pen out and be ready to sign these papers. Several hours later. Yo, Cece. What's all this talk about you leaving Sawyer? He just texted me, he's totally freaking out. Yup, the rumors are true. I can't handle being that man's verbal punching bag anymore, so I'm out. Hey, welcome to the divorce diva life, girl. If you need someone to show the ropes, you know I've got your back. 
Us single moms have to stick together, after all. I was all alone when my ex left me, and I know how tough it can be at the start. I had to call in a lot of favors, lol. I wouldn't call what you do sorry. What you did is calling in favors, so much is settling everyone else, myself included, with your baggage. Well, with that attitude, I can see my you two split up, haha. But, I do actually want to thank you for leaving. Thanks to you, I get to live in this big, beautiful house of his. As soon as I heard you were dumping him, I called my landlord to cancel my lease and everything. For real? Well, Without you or Brandon around, the house is a lot more empty, you know? Plenty of room for me and the kids to take up now, lol. You've got to be kidding me. The ink's barely dry on those divorce papers and he's already replacing me with you? Um, we're a family. There's nothing weird about us living together. That's how most people's family works. We're even thinking of inviting mom to come live with us. That way we can all be one crazy big happy family together. Emphasis on the crazy. Well, it sounds like a nice plan. Just don't get too attached to it, that's all. What's there to get attached to? We're a family, and we stick together, that attach to each other as, it should be lol. I just gotta get my stuff moved in there and it'll be smooth sailing. Seriously, I can't thank you enough for freeing up all that space in there. Good luck finding a place to keep your stuff seeing as the house is being sold. Say what? So you're selling the house? But he loves the house then he can't stop talking about having us over all the time. Actually, I'm the one selling the house. Since we're no longer together, I don't really need it anymore. Um, but doesn't my brother, like, need it? He's gotta live somewhere. My mom and the kids and I have to live somewhere. Well, there's no denying that, but it won't be at that house. See, my name's on all the paperwork. I'm what's called the homeowner, in case you don't know what that means. Wait, but I thought... You thought Sawyer owned it because he was the man of the house, right? He'd certainly like you to think so. But he's probably just embarrassed that his wife was paying for the house he was so proud of, all by herself. That is my house. Every last inch of it. Well, until it sells. No way. Why'd he go and tell us it was all his in the first place? I mean, um, talk about a girl boss, haha. <laughs> Something like that, yeah. You see, Sawyer wanted to take out a loan to help pay for the house, but his credit tanked while he was between jobs, so I ended up in charge of the mortgage. I've already talked to a realtor about selling the place, so feel free to move in, but you're gonna have to scram at the end of the month. Then again, I'm sure you have nothing to worry about. You guys are family, and you always stick together, right? You can't be serious. That's ridiculous. I'm not gonna move into that place just to get kicked out after a month. HM, better nix your current plans, cancel that moving truck, and stay in the apartment you're leasing, I'd say. I just told you, I pretty much shredded my lease today and everything. What should I do? I don't have the kind of money to take out another lease. Yeah, that is quite the pickle. Good luck with all that. You're not gonna help me? Sorry, I must have missed the part where this was my problem. Like I said, good luck with all that. You're a big girl, and I'm sure you'll land on your feet somehow. I'm gonna take off, you know how busy the single mother lifestyle is. The next day. Please, I'm begging you, come back to me, Cece. I'm a changed man, I swear. I'll never let Ash or my mom set foot in this house again. Hell, I'll even give you my keys, too, please, take me back and forget this whole divorce thing, won't you? As much as I love to see you grovel at my feet and cry, that ship has definitely sailed at this point. I told you I didn't want anything to do with you after you signed those papers, and as far as I know, I haven't turned my back on that philosophy, have I? 
No o. -oh. Come on, think about it. There's nothing to think about. You're gonna be a good boy and sign every little piece of paper I send you, or else the next guest you'll be hosting is going to be my lawyer. Trust me, if you think I'm hysterical and unreasonable, you should be very, very afraid of my lawyer. After that. Sawyer was always the kind of guy who faulted whenever his reputation was at stake, so as soon as I mentioned my lawyer, he followed my instructions to the letter. He didn't debate paying child support, and divorcing him ended up being one of the easiest things I've ever done. Wish she'd been more docile sooner, though. Last I heard, he and Ash did actually end up getting a place together. It's a tiny, cramped apartment, but I'm sure they don't mind. After all they're their family, and they certainly love to be together. I'm sure being in one tiny space together will be everything they hoped for and more. Getting them out of my life was like shooting fish in a barrel, so I think it's only fair they get packed like sardines. <laughs>